Right now, I am at the pool in Kreuzberg. It's called Sommerbad Kreuzberg, and it's an oasis. I am so like blown away at how beautiful this space is. Um, as soon as I walked in, I was like, "What the fuck?" Because I thought it was just gonna be a pool. Like I was literally thinking, like, "Sorry, someone is over there on their head, just for no reason, <laughs> just on their head, doing inversion exercises, I guess." Um, but it's so beautiful and it's so sunny here and I'm so happy to be here. I met up with um, Deanna and Emmy here just for a little nice pool day. We had some french fries, Capri Sun. We spoke with each other about just our feelings around being pregnant, like whether, whether it's a positive pregnancy or just like how we just felt during the pregnancy, which was a nice conversation to have because I felt like um, like it was just a non-judgmental non space to just kind of talk about like um, for me like feeling like okay none of my boy clothes fits anymore and like none of my clothes fit anymore just in general and so like having to try and find a style that like suits you and also trying to still feel cute throughout this whole process is a bit um, difficult for me and uh, yeah so this is the last day of week 34. So tomorrow I'll be going into week 35. And this week was something like I met with my midwife and did the birthing course. And that was really super informative. It was like three hours long and we were just talking about pregnancy positions and reasons we would go to the hospital, ways to stretch the perineum, which is like you put your um, thumb inside of the vagina like underneath the vagina <laughs> inside underneath like you put your your hand like under the perineum and then your fingers on top and then you just move move it and stretch it and apparently it's not going to be like the best feeling but it'll stretch your perineum to help like during um, the birthing process so it doesn't rip so easily. The ripping is also part of the birthing process. So if it happens, it happens. But it's always good to know like some technique to um, help that from not happening. I'm gonna lift up my phone a bit. And this week it happened again where I got a cut on my perineum. Um, and it happened two nights ago and like it was so much blood i didn't know what was going on because i didn't feel pain in my belly i didn't feel pain like in my vagina i didn't feel i didn't feel like i was having a miscarriage or anything but there was so much blood and i texted my midwife but um she's not on call yet and so her phone was off and so i called the doula and the doula picked up thankfully and she was like and she was so fucking calm and i was just like in a moment like that, like I, I get like really catatonic and I'm just like silent and I'm just like trying to like understand and figure things out. And it looks very calm, but it's actually like how I freak out. So <laughs> the, the doula was like very, very calm and asking me questions. And in the end like we just realized that it was just a cut and that it wasn't coming from like in the vagina or like around the cervix or anything it was just um the cut on my perineum it was just like really like f like frightening <laughs> to see that happen especially because i'm like um at 34 weeks and i'm thinking oh my god if like i have to have the baby now will the baby be okay da, 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 da. like all of these thoughts kind of raced through my head um, and so it was nice to kind of be always sure that everything's okay. And the doula just said to just like rinse water over it and don't put underwear on, just let it air out. Um, she said like, because like the mouth and like that area, like is one of the spaces of the body that heals really quickly. So like, I'm just now in the healing process of this perineum. <laughs> I'm not like a pregnancy ex expert or anything like that, but I just feel like if you're like me and you already have like a sensitive vagina, Maybe it's already good to just start stretching it out um, so you don't get any um, cuts. 
because like it's just something it's just like an added um worry if you've already had miscarriages or complications with pregnancy like the last thing you want to do is like have something to worry about you know this week you know um chance is like really moving around um they have definitely like let me know what they like and don't like <laughs> and um my feet swell to the size of elephant feet i know how elephant feet and i'm trying to get these compression socks um my doctor prescribed me pre compression socks and that's to help like keep all the fluid like regulated so i don't swell up because as you can see i'm just like i'm plump because i gained 40 pounds let's talk about it let's talk about weight gain <laughs> i am gaining all the weight and like I've like my whole life I've str struggled with body dysmorphia and body dysphoria and like I know that it's pregnancy and you gain weight and it's beautiful blah 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 but it's different you know when you're a, no a gender non-conforming body and you're gaining weight in all of these places and your pussy smells like my pussy smells <laughs> wild and like I went to the doctor they said my pussy is just fine and I'm like I guess my pussy is just gonna smell wild. Then I've gained all of this weight. I can't fit any of my boy clothes anymore. I have to wear a full world oversized dresses all the time. And I'm just like tired and I'm not feeling cute anymore, but I feel great because I have the beautiful baby in me and she's kicking and she's doing a great job and she's beautiful and you know, all of the things. So it's like, I, I get so irritated when I see videos of pregnant people who are just, you know, happy and pregnant and, you know, they're all, they're like, you know, promoting diapers and they're just happy and pregnant or they're promoting whatever. And I'm just like, listen, my feet are swollen. I'm tired. I'm, I'm carrying 40 pounds more of weight than I'm used to carrying. My face is now the exact size of a basketball. Hi, Danielle. <laughs> I'm doing one of my um, updates. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Danielle has come with goods. With the goods. You've come with the goods. Recent? You've come with the goods. The goodies. Oh, yeah. Thank you, baby. So good. This is probably why I have 40 pounds more weight on me. <laughs> probably the ice cream. <laughs> probably the ice cream? Yeah, we used to eat a tub a day. First of all, it wasn't a tub, it was a pint. <laughs> it was a whole ice cream tub, babe. <laughs> I couldn't buy a tub bigger than the tub. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Yeah, 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 yeah. an ice cream blip. An ice cream what? Blip. What's blip? I mean, eating is like something that brings me joy. So I just really wish that there was more representation of like tired pregnant people. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> pregnant people with swollen feet. Thanks, babe. <laughs> I'm here. How do you feel? Hot. That second was a lot. I spoke about the perineum. Did you? Yeah. What did you say? My perineum cut. How was scary? Yeah, it was terrifying. It was really so scary. We were both like almost gonna cry. You were crying. Oh, yeah, your eyes are all red and like watery. She was like, I wasn't crying. I was just like, she was like, and I was like, oh, I need to be strong. So you must be like distraught and terrified right now. So we're both terrified. Yeah. And then we saw the cut. <laughs> we were like. Ow, and thank God. <laughs> and then Charles like, kicking the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, go to bed, try to suck most nutrients out of your body, sleep. Um, I know. Chance was like, all is good here. All is good. <laughs> all is good here. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I just really wanted to, like, make this video update to kind of discuss more in depth about like kind of how I'm feeling nearing the end of week 34. Love you, really. I love you too. And um, that's all. <laughs>